What's up everybody, because of your feedback, I decided to get more into details and create mini episode format for those who are interested in small information. We lost the information during my episodes or there is something needed to be explained more in the detail or there is a specific small topic that we should talk about. So because of that, I created this format of mini episodes, bonus episodes, call it whenever you like. But I just want to make also some shorter parts about the topics that you are interested in. And from your comments, I know that you are very interested in how SQL, uh, Pi and Burp Suite integration works more in detail. So I created this video to show you a small ways or several ways how you can invoke SQL Map Pi from Burp Suite from various places. So enjoy and let's go. There are several ways uh, you can basically ingest the data with SQL map in SQL by and I owe you this solution and I know that I should show you that so this will be part of this bonus episode and I will show you how to ingest or invoke the data from various parts of Burp Suite, the new version 2021.8 and in this version we will see how we can basically work with that so there is one thing that from target window, you will select the application and then you have the request and response and or your URI and then you have this re request and response and then you send, then you can say extensions, SQL map by integration and SQL by scan. You see that the SQL map API is not running. So don't forget to start the API. When the API will run, you will be ready to scan it. So that's one of the ways how you can do that. Another way is basically take it from the from any request, send it to repeater. That in the in the repeater window, you can take the request, send it through the extension into SQL Map by scan. That's another way how you can do that. So a very interesting way is that when you are working with with the interceptor, so basically you can use a proxy. When you have intercept on and you intercept specific request, you can again send it to the extensions to the integration with SQL map. And another way how to do that is again from proxy. When you have this HTTP history, you can find the web portal that you want to test or specific PHP call, whatever call you like. Then from the request, you can again take the extension and from the SQL map integration, SQL map by scan, uh, enable the scan. Another way how to do that is double click. When you double click on that, you appear the request window with the inspector. And again, you can send it to the extensions, SQL map by scan, and it will, it will pre-populate all the data that you need for scanning. And then you can easily start your scan. So that's an extension for this bonus episode for you. If you didn't understand how I did that in my like, previous sketch about SQL map and Burp Suite integration. Here it is for you and looking forward for proper episodes. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.